Well, on Thursday, police charged middle school teacher Joseph Tenno with two counts of second degree child molestation. This after, according to affidavits, two students came forward with allegations against the Essex Hopkins middle school teacher. The affidavit states that the math teacher touched two students inappropriately. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock joins us now live in studio with the very latest. Matt. Kim Kayla, Joseph Tenno was put on paid administrative leave back in December and is still being paid by the district at this time. On Thursday, Providence police charged this man, Joseph Tenno, with two counts of second degree child molestation. According to a police affidavit, two students, a sixth and eighth grader coming forward about the middle school math teacher, claiming he inappropriately touched them. According to the Rhode Island Department of Education, Tenno was hired as a part of their emergency certification process, which was formed to help school districts cope with employment obstacles after the pandemic. According to Providence schools, there are currently 413 classroom teachers working under the emergency certification process. In a statement from Ride about the program, they said in part, Ride certification application also includes legal questions for candidates, including whether they have been convicted of a felony or misdemeanor or have charges pending. After a deeper dive, Tenno had no prior run-ins with the law outside of traffic violations. Providence Schools sharing a statement with 12 News about that hiring process, which reads in part, During the hiring process, Mr. Tenno completed the required State Attorney General Background Check, or BCI. The report indicated, in accordance with federal and state law, that Mr. Tenno did not have any disqualifying information. The district takes these allegations and the safety of our students extremely seriously. 12 News also asked, why hasn't Mr. Tenno been fired at this point? And the school responded with no comment at this time. Reporting live in studio, Matt Paddock, 12 News.